सो हेलो गैस वेलकम बैक सो गैस दिस वीडियो इन वेरी डिमांड लाइक स्पीड ऑफ विंडोज 11 एंड यू गैस कमेंटिंग लाइक मेक अ वीडियो ऑन द स्पीड ऑफ विंडोज 11 ओके सो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट स्पीड ऑफ विंडोज 11 एंड इट डजंट मैटर इफ यू आर यूजिंग विंडोज 10 देन यू कैन आल्सो स्पीड अप ओके सो यू नीड टू जस्ट फॉलो ऑल द स्टेप्स व्हाटएवर आई एम टेलिंग और शोइंग सो फर्स्ट व्हाट यू नीड टू डू यू नीड टू जस्ट चेंज सम सेटिंग फ्रॉम योर विंडोज सेटिंग प्रेस विंडोज प्लस आई की दिस इज अ शॉर्टकट की फॉर ओपनिंग विंडोज 11 setting or windows 10 settings so go into personalization and uh, here you will see something like device usage okay so just click on it so now you can see here some option like gaming family creativity and all that it basically depends upon like how you using your system and for what you are using your system like i'm using for gaming so i will turn it on and it will optimize my pc for gaming purposes and if you are using for family creativity school entertainment businesses all these things are here you just need to turn on this setting according to you so i just turned this on for gaming so the next step is apps and in apps you need to click on startup so now you can see list of apps which is started on the system startup these apps basically just start whenever you turn on your system so i don't want these things to start so when i turn on my system so just turn all them off and it will definitely going to boost your system performance so go back and now here you can see offline maps just turn off all these things if you are not using maps and you can see i just turn all off okay so if it is on in your case just turn it off go back okay so next is go into privacy and security settings so here is the main thing like you can see find my device i'm not using this feature so if it is on then turn it off go back next is general in general you will see let app show me personalized ads by using advertising id no i don't want to see any kind of ad in my system just turn all off here okay and now go back and again just scroll little bit and here you will see location in your case if it is anything on here just uh, turn all off okay and clear this location history and next is going to notifications here you can see notification access let's app access my notification turn this option off in my case it is off here you can see account info in account info if this feature is on then turn it off so here you can see phone calls we are not uh, doing phone calls from here so you can see in my case it is off turn it off next is contacts we are not sharing any kind of contacts just turn it off calendar turn it off also so whatever i am showing just turn all off email in email just turn it off and here messaging turn it off radio we are not using radio in our laptops turn it off automatic file downloads if you are not using onedrive maybe it is disabled in your case or maybe not then turn it off and next is go into system so in system you will see something like storage just click on it and this will be a game changing for you so you need to turn this on storage sense so what it does so automatically free up space delete temporary files okay so one thing i just forgot go into apps and in apps click on apps and feature here you will see lots of apps which you are not using but still they are in your system so what you need to do just click on three dots and uninstall them this is built in app so that's why we can't uninstall it i am going to sort it by size so here you can see we sorted apps by size okay so i am not using this stream lab obvious so what i am going to do just click on uninstall it is going to uninstall just click yes uninstall so this is a simple process you can uninstall apps in windows 11 most of the people don't know how to uninstall app from windows okay so you just need to find out what you are not using like i am not using microsoft onedrive just right click here and uninstall so same process you need to follow for others if you are not using any apps okay so we are done with windows setting now what you need to do you need to stop unwanted services which you are definitely not using but they are running in background so what you need to do just press windows plus r and type here services.msc okay it will open services and here i will tell you seven services which you need to stop right now so first is download map manager press d you will see here something like download map manager in my case currently it is not running because we already stopped from settings if it is running in your case just click on stop and you can click here disable it apply and ok next is ip helper if you are not using ipv6 then you can turn it off mostly people are using ipv4 press i 
apply and you will see IP helper. Just click on it, disable it and apply OK. And it is not going to harm your internet. OK, so don't worry about it. Next is print spooler. This is for printer user. If you are using printer then don't stop it or don't disable it. But I am not using printer and all that so I am going to stop it. You can see print spooler. Just double click on it. Stop it. If it is running or turn it disable. Apply. OK. Next service is touch keyboard. OK. So if you are not using touch keyboard here. So you can turn that off. Just press T. You will see touch keyboard and handwriting panel services. So double click on it and currently we can can see we don't have any option like stop and all that so what you can do just click on select disable and apply and whenever you restart your system it will not restart this service next is fax service just press F and if you are not using fax then you can just disable it currently I'm not using this service so that's why it is not also running Next is geolocation service. If you are not using map and all that, geolocation is not mandatory for you. If you are using any kind of radar system and all that, so you don't need to disable it. I'm going to disable it. Geolocation service, it is running and uh, stop it. And uh, believe me, this is going to boost your system performance for all time. So next is Windows biometric service. So if you are using biometric thing like scanning thumb and all that in your system and uh, you have Windows Hello feature, then you don't need to disable it. If you are not using these things, then you can turn it off. So you need to just press W. You can see here Windows biometric service. Double click on it. It is currently not running. That's good. Disable it and apply. Okay, so these are the seven services which you need to stop right now and now next process is going to be very important you need to download this optimization folder from the description and this is just registry optimization so this is going to be game changing for your system so you need to just open these things cpu optimization folder and just double click on it and click yes and yes and okay so you need to follow same steps for all files And this is optimization for gaming and performance. Double click on it. Yes. Yes. Okay. And if you want to disable Cortana, then you can just run this. Disable Cortana. Okay, so we are done with these two folders and this is a just simple file this will clean all kind of temp files so you can see here this is a simple command so you need to just double click on it and it will clean all kind of cache from your system so we are done with this and the next process is related to your C drive press Windows plus E key to open this file explorer and right click here and go to properties and here you need to run this disk cleanup option but let me tell you we are not going to delete windows.old folder check all here whatever i'm selecting and uh, click ok and delete files and disk cleanup also have another step just wait for it okay so it's clean just click on disk cleanup again so here you need to click on clean up system files so you can see a message like previous windows installation if you delete that then you can't go back to windows 10 okay so we are not going to do it in this video because that folder automatically delete after 10 days so you can also wait for 10 days then that folder will delete automatically you don't need to select this windows update cleanup windows upgrade log files select these things you can see previous windows installation 11 gb but if you made a mind like i want to delete that and i don't want to go back to windows 10 then you can check this and delete and click ok and delete files Okay, so this process is done. Next step is clean boot. Okay, so what is clean boot? Whenever you do a clean boot, then it will stop unwanted services which is running in background. Whenever you boot your system at that time, it just start and you are not using them. And time to time, whenever you use anything or any services, so at that time, these services just trigger or start. So these services automatically do not stop. So we are going to stop it. So you need to press Windows 
choose plus R and type here MS config. So just press enter. So just click on services and uh, here you need to select this hide all Microsoft services because we are not going to stop Microsoft services. If you stop them then definitely you are going to face some problem. So just check this box and other are not Microsoft services if they are running in background. So what you can do just disable all and all these will turn off and it will say just restart your system and you just need to restart your system now. So you need to just click on restart. So the next process is just press Windows plus R and type here DEMP okay just click continue and select all and delete so these are the temporary files whenever you install any software and all that these files are necessary at that time okay next just press Windows plus R again and press here percent and percent press enter select all and delete and some files are currently in use that's why it is saying we can't delete it so you can select this checkbox and click skip again you need to press windows plus r and type here prefetch and click ok and delete all and i am making sure after following all these steps so you will definitely comment like yeah this is a very good video for me it just speed up my windows to next level and now i think we have done all the steps and after this you just need to go to start and click here and restart your system and after restart you will feel like yeah this is a windows 11 so guys that's how we can speed up our system so okay guys that's it for the video if you like this video just hit the like button and do subscribe if you are new on this channel so okay guys thank you so much for watching this video